Hey guys, I'm Megan Ely, owner of Wedding Publicity Agency, OFT Consulting, and I'm so excited today to offer one of my very, very favorite and, believe it or not, super easy PR tips. So when I first got started, I was actually in the industry. I worked in venues and I'd done that for years, but I did have a PR background and I was ready to move on into the world of publicity. And you see, for me, I had known a lot of people in town. I'm from a smaller city. And so people knew me for doing weddings, but I really needed to reintroduce myself as a wedding industry expert. So I had this one trick that worked so well for me. It's something I've passed along, not only to clients, but friends and colleagues. And also even during the COVID crisis this year, we were able to kind of recycle this tip and, and mix it up a little bit and still make it relevant for today. So this is going to be what you need to do. I want you to go into your local market and find about three media outlets. It could be print, it could be online, it could be radio, it could be TV, any of those things. It's whatever medium you want to pursue and you feel most comfortable going after. From there, what I want you to do is type in the word wedding and run a search on their site. Type in the word event and run a search on their site. Take a look and see if any sort of, and you could do hospitality too, but any sort of wedding or event coverage, maybe once a year, maybe once every couple of years, maybe a little bit more ongoing. These are going to be mainstream outlets. We're not talking about wedding related magazines, publications right now. Let's focus on just the local stuff to see, is there someone getting a business profile who's been in the wedding industry? Do they talk about some of the local shows? Do they talk about how COVID's affected the industry locally? Any of that sort of thing. Find the writers of those articles. Do a little bit of internet stocking, find out, are they a freelancer? Do they write for them? What is their email? Then get a better feel exactly for what their beat is. A beat is an area of expertise. So do they write about weddings every, you know, maybe it's a couple times a year, but they mainly do lifestyle related stuff. Do they write about entrepreneurs every single week doing different stories? And they just happen to be covering some people who are in the wedding industry. And the biggest thing that you need to do is ask yourself, what can I pitch them that's complementary to what they're already doing, but could be kind of fresh and inspiring. So if you see someone who's writing about, um, you know, entrepreneurs regularly, and you've got a cool story, because maybe you've done some heavy pivoting in the last few months and you want people to know about it, well, you could write them, potentially introduce yourself as someone who could be featured. Or maybe you just find some folks who write about the wedding and event industry or hospitality in general. Then what you can do is this, you write an introductory email, subject line, just expert introduction. You do with some sort of greeting with their name. You do three paragraphs. One, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is reaching out today because I followed your coverage and I want to introduce myself as an expert for future stories that you may be writing, features you might be writing about the event industry. Next paragraph, dazzle with them with yourself in two to three lines. I'm this person. I've been in business this long. This is why I'm great. Except don't say this is why I'm great, but say some great things about you. Last paragraph, let them know how you're connected in town, maybe some of the associations that you belong to so that they can reach out to you in time of need if they need further content. Boom. Thank you so much for your consideration. Send it along. Now, will they be in touch? Maybe, maybe not. They might just say, thanks. I'll keep you in mind, but I promise you they will file you away. And when they have a wedding or an event related story um, down the road, they will potentially consider you. So anyways, that's something we do with all of our clients. It's something I've done for myself over the years. After the first year I started OFD, I was quoted in most of the publications locally. I served as kind of this really reliable expert who could connect them with the right people. And we lived happily ever after. So I hope that helps today. And uh, thanks for listening. You can find me over at ofdconsulting.com. Take care.